Hi, Mr. Crane. How are? Hey, I did, hey, what did I say? Come on, come on back here. Look at that. The things that I see. Thought I'd take a little walk around. Take a break from the painting. A lot of detail, you know, the second day is always a day of detail. Here I am over there. It's a lot of texture, a lot of detail. I got shoulder problems. <laughs> Don't get old, so as I gotta tell you. But uh it's coming along. It's Got to get all that little organic shapes in. No fish in the pond though. No ripples. Nice reflection, no ripples. But saw my friends at deer this morning again. And I haven't seen the crane today. Maybe the crane will come in a little later. Well, unlikely I'm out here till about two-ish. Hope I can get done before the sun just beats you, you know. But the only place to be is in the sun. You know. Yeah, see, I don't see any fish down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting a better camera. Things are so expensive, you know. I'd like to get a nice big SLR with a... Hey, there's a fish! With a mic on it. There's a fish. Holy shit, there is fish in here. There's a baby fish. Oh, let me see if I can get that for you guys. Oh my god. Can you guys see him in there? Oh, he's gone now. Oh, there's another little one. Can you guys see him? Oh, see the ripple over there? Oh my god, I was wrong. There is a fishy. Man, I ever get rich. I'm building a pond so I can fly fish on my own pond. Uh, these boys take care, such good care of this garden. Uh, the guys that work uh, for Betty. It takes a real farmer to, to keep a pond. They're not, it's a whole science behind it. You see them right there? There's a couple of little ones there. I wish I could see a big one coming through. Then I can tell you guys, check this out. One of my favorite pastimes is fly fishing. I like it because you gotta, from the beginning to the time you fish, you're in charge. You make your own flies, everything. You have to research what's on the lake, pond, stream. I see a lot of these, um, we call them but you call them dragonflies, we call them Bati Mamzel. You call them dragonflies. I've seen a lot of them here, so if there's big bass and stuff, they might eat it. They might the big bass might be over there. Look at that. You see that guy there? This camera has good zoom. It's a this is a nice place around here, you know. You know that bird is there because there might be fish in here. Oh and there's my gorilla box. So don't forget you can get 25% off. If you want to paint with me, it's two days. There's a the bird, he's flying. Where is he, where is he? Did I get him? Yeah, and it's two days he spent with me painting. Uh, we, I usually take an hour myself, but I figure if I have people with me, it'll probably take me two to three hours. So you have to bank on three hours a day. You have to be able to come two days. Doesn't have to be consecutive, but the time has to be the same. That's the important part. So, you know that red thing you've seen up there on the hill, that is actually fast check and I started to put it in my painting. Because that's where the fire was, right behind that mountain there. And they put the fast check to save Oak Glen. That's something. But, um, yeah, you can get 25% off from Gorilla Painter on a nice Gorilla box and paints and everything except the tripod. So if you don't have a tripod, you just come with um, a chair. I'm only doing one or two students because uh, I've tried in the past to do a lot of people and I'm not really good at it. I can really, there's so much to tell you, you know, that I could do it better with um, one or two people. 
two might be up there. A one on one, I think, is the way to learn some stuff because a lot of this is um, practice, gets into your hand. So, to explain practice to a lot of people, you know, probably wouldn't get it unless they were pretty professional, you know. So, plus, I'm allowing you guys can video like I video. Maybe you can start a YouTube channel, you know, you should. But uh, you could video the workshop and um, it'll be good for your reference for later on because I'm videoing it, you will be on YouTube. You guys take care and I'll see you when I do the second layer. That's when I use all my ugly brushes. I'll talk to you. Bye. Why are you guys so scared of me? I didn't bring a pack of curry today. No a frying pan. Or I should say a cast iron pot. Because, you know, we Indian, we real. Have you heard rumors about Indian? Huh? Have you tried an Indian darling? You know, we like we curry. <laughs> Look at that. These guys are so nice. Yeah, they kind of gotten really tame around here. Well, I got pain all over myself, on my shirt, all kinds of stuff. But, can we see that? And there's a picture. I finally finished with it, just signed it. And there's the landscape. Beautiful place up here. I'll take you guys up to the bridge. Let's go to the bridge. We're going to the bridge. I just left the camera on the tripod. Let's see what the bridge looks like. So this is the bridge. Pretty nice, huh? There is a nicer view. I'm over there. There's a nicer view. garden an island <coughs> my throat is dry an island in the orchard ain't that something all right you guys I'll see you guys I wanted to show you guys this some shapes you don't like. Gotta get rid of them. They're immature. They're ignorant. They gotta go. Break them up. Anyhow you can. You learn tricks about breaking them up as you go, but it doesn't matter how you break them up. Break them up. They're stupid strokes. And they're going to ruin your picture. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. After you paint a while, you learn which strokes you like and which one you don't. I'm gonna work on them, but I wanted to show you close, kinda get rid of them. They're ugly strokes.